it's it's a fantastic topic. It's it's the coolest topic of the century. Really, and it's just it's just amazing. When I started, I wanted to know. I wanted to really find out what what is what does it do. Uh, I know a little bit about artificial intelligence. I know it is related to computer science topic. Yeah. But I didn't know what are the applications that it has. Yeah. It just it goes. I mean, it's just exponential. The number of applications that I started reading about it. So the simple example is, it's it's an assistant. When you think about uh, customer service yeah. as an example. If you if you go to um, any website, especially uh, big customer service, whether it is a Home Depot yeah. or a, or a car manufacturing right. uh, uh, auto zone type right. environment, yeah. you know if you if you go there and uh, onto their website looking for a part, or if you're already an existing customer, imagine you a chatbot uh, uh, like a, a small uh, virtual assistant will pop up. Hey Tom. <laughs> And you may wonder, how did this guy know about my name? Yeah. So it's kind of spooky and a feeling. The reality is, he knows you or she knows you. If it is Jill, she knows you. <laughs> or if it is Joe, he knows you. So it's Jill the bot who has all the data that this entity has collected on me. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it is truly a fundamental computer science topic. But we, as a customer, we really don't need to worry about that. He knows you or she knows you, whichever the assistant, the name is associated with. And you have a, you are there because you're, there is a reason. You want to know the price of something or you, you're an existing customer. You want to know, hey, you, you, send, me a, you send me something right. and I didn't get the bill. Yeah. And so you're asking the assistant, where is I, I didn't get the pay a bill. Okay. Jill, as, uh, the virtual assistant goes and pull up the bill right in front of you. It's yours right there. Oh, oh okay. I got it. I got it. Now, if you ask the question, instead of where is my bill, and if you ask the question differently, I did not get this month's bill. Right. The, the smart assistant will know you're looking for your bill for some reason. Because there, there's certain algorithms that's picked up certain keywords. Yes, and also they're building data and they're learning themselves how to answer different type of questions. So they can relate their intelligent uh, assistant or bots and they can learn and in, uh, interpret the best, uh, I mean, recognize the best answer for your question. That's, that's unbelievable. I'm talking with Abraham George. I'm Tom Hackett. We're at CMG Studios. It's Talk with Mike and Tom. And I'm joined by my associate, who's also producing and on the cast today, Mike Baltimore. Oh, hey, well, Mike. Tom, it's, uh, it's good to be here. And today, it's a very special day because really we have an IT expert in the studio, and Dr. Abraham George. And so I'm really looking forward to the question about artificial intelligence and uh, this AR. So I want him to talk a little bit more about that. You guys have already started the conversation. So, so what is AR, Mike? That. What is AR? You had mentioned AR. Well, you know, I'm going to refer to the expert, but let's uh, <laughs> let's go and okay. see. Uh, George, can, uh, Abraham, can you help me out here? Tom's asking me a tough question. Uh, AR is AR stands for augmented reality. Uh, it, it simply it simply means adding a uh, digital layer on top of what you do. What you know, it's it's a it's a digital layer. You, you, you're all, we are all doing our, um, uh, what, you know, this is reality, you know, like we are yeah. seeing face to face and you're doing, but uh, in, a, in a digital world, you're adding a layer and it's, that's why it's called augmented reality. So um, in, a, in, 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 in other words, you can also call 3D, three dimensional. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a, it's, it makes it, uh, um, it makes it uh, uh, when you look through the digital glasses, and right. you, it comes with a 
uh, uh, eyewear. Uh -huh. and, uh, and that's where you see all these different uh, uh, layers of digital uh, view that you, yeah. that you are going to see with the augmented reality. I'll give you an example about um, recently that I saw. A friend of mine works in, um, um, in a manufacturing plant. Yeah. And there, what they do, uh, he, he's, a, he's an engineer. His job is to fix things in, in, a, in, in, the, in, the, in the manufacturing, uh, he, the machine that he is assigned to take care of. So as you know, it is, um, as a maintenance engineer, uh, it's such an important part that you have to have everything top-notch working. But because these uh, div uh, these manufacturing item comes through uh, the supply chain, and you have to be it. It all needs to work, hundred percent. So he he was he had an issue with one of the machines, and he wanted to, he was trying to figure, out, what do I do with this? Uh, yeah. Immediately, you know, he had this glass uh, eye uh, glass on on his head. He put it popped up, and uh, he he started talking to. Um, talking to it, um, this, the, asking the question, like a, ask, asking a question to his assistant or the trainer. Yeah. Hey, how do I get this uh, hooked up to uh, my signal processor? So it starts showing him it, it as starts, he's looking real time at yeah. the actual machine. So the, so the glass has, the eyewear has a view of the device, which he has to work on, and in the, in the glass, inside the glass, he can see uh, uh, this augmented reality right. uh, where it shows, started showing, hey, pointing to this, you know, go there and touch that. I mean, you can really see as like, as if, as if Tom is uh, right with me and Tom is the expert trainer and he's, uh, Abraham, touch, press that button and then unplug this wire and then All right, let me ask. I mean, so if I'm looking through those glasses, then uh, it'll display on, on the glass display uh, in proximity to where I'm located to the machine, so it shows you which button to press in that kind of scenario. Yes, yeah. And, and you see, it ha the, the, the glass, uh, if you do a micro, Microsoft HoloLens, for example, it's one of the devices in which you can put it, which is very expensive, 3000 close to $3,000. Mm -hmm. But it has a, so you're standing in front of the machine that you're maintaining, and it sees that, and uh, and you have a, a full 3D view inside uh, that uh, this assistant, virtual trainer, is going is showing you this step by step instruction. Press this, press that, press this, plug this, all these steps without any uh, difficulty. Your uh, instead of theoretical knowledge that you be used to stay and learn from the class, it's right there in front of you. No mistake is made. Mike, that's exactly what we need to. Uh to set the studio up. We need augmented reality because every time you go through the protocol with me, it sounds like it's in another language. I need to put those glasses on and it guide me through how to switch the studio and set up for a podcast. You know, I, I think we're going to put Abraham on retainer and make <laughs> sure that he can help us get that because I need those glasses. I need to show it needs to show me when the audio's too low, maybe when the video is not where it needs to be. I need that uh, augmented reality. How Abraham, how how far out? I mean, it looks like it has some business purposes has been designed for specifics in business, but what about the rest of us? Um, are, should we uh, think about buying those glasses? Are they ready? What's the timeline look like for that? I wanted to, just one step backwards, I wanted to tell something. I don't know whether you heard what Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, no. uh, recently said about the augmented reality. Yeah. Uh, someone asked him, what, does, what is it augmented reality is going to do? He said, um, we all remember when the smartphone came, you know, right. uh, 10 years ago, when um, the smartphone came in and uh, that disrupted the whole communication for everyone. Right. And now every single human being in the planet has uh, a smartphone. Right. And, and that everywhere. Was, yeah, everywhere. 
Yeah. Yep, for everything that we rely on smartphone. In fact, if you if you're a young person, you have to have it just to function in the world. Yes. yes. And so you know what uh, um, uh, Tim Cook said: wait twenty twenty five or twenty twenty thirty. Really? Run that that a- soon. That soon. Every smartphone will be gone. 